All right, guys, come on. You don't sign up for the DeMontis Sabonis workout program unless you want to sweat. Unless you want to work. All right, come on. Let's go. Final push. Literally. Push. 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 Come on, guys. Push. Right in the back. Push. Push off for those rebounds. Push. Push. Okay. Elbow. Elbow. Right in the chest cavity, guys. Elbow. Elbow. Chest cavity. Trachea. Chest cavity. Trachea. All right. Hand off. Hand off. Hand off. Get those dribble handoffs in. Hand off. Got to bump up those assist numbers, baby. Hand off. The Dallas Mavericks beat, nay, stomp on the Sacramento Kings 132-96 to in what was probably the most important game of the season for the Mavericks, one of the most important games of the season for the Kings and where the Western Conference standings is. This basically acted as a playoff game, as a mini play-in game, if you will, for both of these teams to try and avoid that play-in. And the Mavericks came out and just, my God. It's five wins in a row now for the Mavericks. They are 9-1 in their last 10. The only loss over that stretch being against the Thunder on the road, second night of a back-to-back -back without Luka Doncic. And over those last 10 games, the Mavs are second in defense, eighth in offense, and third in net rating. And folks, it's almost hard to contextualize how different this basketball team is compared to where they were at the start of February. Like, if you didn't know any better and you watched a, a game from the Mavericks at the end of January versus now, you would think two seasons had passed between that team and this team. Like, you would think a mini rebuild happened in between then and now. If you go back to the trade deadline, the Mavericks are 15-6, and six, which is the fourth best record since then, fourth in net rating, third in offense, eighth in defense. The Celtics, Nuggets, Thunder, and Pelicans are the only other teams top 10 in both offense and defense over that stretch. The best stat I could find to at least try to contextualize how different this basketball team is compared to their pre-trade deadline counterpart, in the 21 games since the trade, the Mavericks have been below league average offensively seven times. They are 5-2 and two in those games. Compared to pre-trade deadline, they went 1-17 when they were below league average offensively. 1-17. And, and they are 5-2 and two since. What? In those 21 games, the Mavericks have been above league average defensively 13 times. They are 13-0 and in those games. So when they're just a league average defense, not even good, just league average, they are pretty much unbeatable, including last night where the Mavs shot 57% from three. I mean, they couldn't miss. They've only shot above league average from three three times in the 10 games in which they are 9-1. and They are 7-0 and in the games where they shoot below league average. 7-0. and Before the trade deadline, the Mavericks shot below league average from three 21 times, and they went 6-15 and in those games. This is a completely new basketball team that does not need to bomb threes in order to win. How do they win games? They play defense. Why are they better at defense now? Because P.J. Washington is a fucking dog. And Daniel Gafford is really good. And adding two legitimately good defenders into your rotation just makes life easier for everyone else. Derek Jones Jr., who's also a great defender, now his life is a little bit easier because less is asked of him. Since joining the team, P.J. Washington has a 111 defensive rating when he's on the floor. That's great. That's really good. We love that. P.J. Washington and Daniel Gafford together, the newcomers, they have a plus 10 net rating when they share the floor together and a 109 defensive rating. And then P.J. Washington and Derek Jones Jr., the two 3 and D wings, the two guys who are tasked with guarding the other team's best players night in and night out, they have a plus 19 rating when they're on the floor together with a 103 defensive rating. Wow. And after last night's Kings game, the new Mavs starting five is officially their most used lineup this season, which is a crazy thing in and of itself. But this, this lineup has a plus 25 net rating with a 96 defensive rating in today's NBA. That's just insanity. And I know it's small sample size, but this is their most used lineup this entire season. They've only been on the team for over a month, a month and a half. What the hell is going on? And last night, we let the Luka talk. Don't remember how many shots he took, but he made them all. P.J. Washington starts making threes. This team is even more scary than they've already looked. Like, this is a guy who's been in a horrible, dreadful shooting slump. Yet the Mavericks are still winning games. And he takes probably the third or fourth most shots on the team. Good job here by the Mavericks. They knew the Kings were going to send two at Luka. Let P.J. Washington set the screen. Let him pop out for a clean look at three. Look at this great defense in transition. Gafford gets cross-matched on Harrison Barnes. That's all right. Use your length. Use your athleticism. Contest that shot. Great work by the big right there. This would be a stupid clip to post because it's just pretty much regular basic shit. Luca was playing this game with a hurt Achilles, and it showed. I mean, he was limping up and down the court more so than usual because I do agree that sometimes he does. Does a nice job staying with Keegan Murray here. And then good job jumping the passing lane right there. That's why Luca averages so many steals. He's smart. He knows what he's doing, guys. He knows what he's doing. DeMontis Sabonis, can I have this dance? You are cooked food, my friend. Step up. In your mouth.
P.J. Washington made three threes in the first quarter of this game. Feels like he didn't make three threes his entire career as a Maverick up until this point. But this is why. Popping out, two go to Luka, wide open three. Let him get a rhythm. You know, don't, don't stick him in the corner and, you know, pray that he makes catch and shoot threes after he's been kind of, you know, out of rhythm for the whole game. Let him step in his shots like these. Absolutely love it. And we already know how good he is defensively. Look at him right here on Sabonis. He had multiple possessions in this game. Going to work, absorb an elbow right to the teeth, and I'm knocking out of bounds. Pussy. Uh, I'm not sure that's what he said. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Then how about this for P.J. Washington's third three of the quarter? Little going to slip this drag screen right here. Get right to that spot on the wing. Wide open. Three threes. You got to guard me now. Great job. It's a great start. Good job, Jason Kidd. Another one for your Coach of the Year candidacy. Derek Lively and really the entire Mavs team played great defense in this game. This is the best way to deal with all of the screens that the Kings are going to set. The Knicks did it uh, a few weeks ago, I think, or a week ago, whenever that game was. I watched that game. Whenever the Knicks beat the Kings and the Kings only scored 90-something points was just the defensive intensity the Knicks had playing at the level of the screen and the bigs showing and then recovering. Here, the moment De'Aaron Fox retreats a little bit, Lively gets back. Maxie was ready to help. And now Lively's in a great you know, uh, help position here on this De'Aaron Fox floater. That's no good. You know, Fox might make that every now and then, but that's a good job disrupting that. This was a, this was a Kings team that annihilated the Mavericks twice earlier in the season because they just feasted in the paint. I think they only scored 20-something paint points in this game. The Mavericks said, nah, uh we're not doing that again. Oh, my goodness. And then you got this guy on your team, Sauce King. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Where the hell are you going? Foot on the line? I don't even care. Oh, Keon Ellis. Keon Ellis, you've been good, man. Sorry. Look at the bench. Team's going to blitz these ball screens. It's imperative for the guy in the middle of the floor. In this case, Lively. Make the right read. Great job. Ball and movement. Tim Hardaway Jr. If you missed that shot, everybody in my chat would be saying, Tim Hardaway Jr. is the worst fucking player on the planet. But he makes that shot. <laughs> it's go time. Ask LeBron James. Look at this individual defense by Derek Jones Jr. Aaron Fox, one of the quickest, shiftiest guards in the league. Great work right there. Great work on an island. All right, let's repay Derek Jones Jr. with a three. Great kick out by Luka. Be ready to shoot that thing. Look, the Mavs shot 56% from three. They're not going to shoot that number, obviously. If they did, well, <laughs> clear, your, clear your calendars in June, folks, because there's going to be a parade, okay? But uh, they'll shoot better than they have over the last 10 games. And if they start knocking down shots with regular consistency, at least around a league average clip, which they have not been, I don't know how you stop this offense. We already showed a clip earlier, P.J. Washington on Sabonis, and trust me, there will be more. But here's P.J. Washington on Fox. Just the defensive versatility. Brings, uh, it adds a whole nother wrinkle to the team. Kick out. Mavs got a little bit lucky there. Luca, where are you going, buddy? You guys right here, all right? Let's not float into the paint like that. Rebound hunting, all right? I don't, I don't want you to get the stat padding moniker. One player in this game is 100% a stat padder, but we don't want you going for that. This is just nasty, man. Oh, Luca. Send that to Penny Hardaway. Oh, and he's staring. So Luca was talking some shit in this game. He's staring down somebody. Now, we're going to pause here and analyze the trajectory of his eyes, right? Let's pause. Can we fucking pause, please? All right. He's looking around this region, okay? Now, let's backtrack a little bit. Those are two little children. Now, I'm trying to do some investigation here. Was Luca talking shit to little children on sitting courtside? Now, it's possible. Luca's a 300 IQ player, and I don't think people realize that. Lobbing it up to... Uh, Gafford, pretty good defense by Sabonis actually to prevent that lob. But really, what Luke is doing here instead of taking that easy floater is he's getting Gafford an assist, guys. That was a decision on Luca's part. You might think, oh, he made the right wrong read here, should have just taken that floater. No, no, no. He's just letting Gafford get an assist. I mean, that's a teammate. Here we go. Good defense here. Good defense. PJ Washington working to prevent an easy entry pass. Luca shading it a little bit too. And a good rotation and closeout by Derek Jones Jr. That's the team defense that we need. And then transition right here. Look at PJ Washington immediately going to work. Immediately on Sabonis. Not letting him get not letting him get sealed off. Being able to contest that shot and then fight for the rebound afterwards. That is great transition defense by both Kyrie Irving and PJ Washington. PJ going to work before they even get at the free throw line. Making sure he does not get sealed off so he can contest this shot and prevent a Gortat seal. I would say Sabonis has no chance on Kyrie here, but to be fair, I don't think anyone has any chance on Kyrie right here. That deacceleration pull up, going baseline. 
I wish I could do that just once. All right, Sabonis playing up on this ball screen. Good slip by Lively. Bounce pass. Read the defense. Kick to the corner. Dante Exum. Good day, mate. I mean, this is what it's all about, folks. All right, back to our investigative series here on this one. Luca step back three over Keegan Murray. Disgusting. He's obviously nasty. Luca had 26 points in the first half. Only had 28, in the, uh, 28 points at the end of the game. So he scored two points in the second half. It wasn't because he played bad or anything like that. The Mavs just didn't need him. And he didn't play at all in the fourth quarter. Now he hits the three and immediately he's trash talking. All right. Step back three. Obviously disgusting. Boom, immediately. Shut the fuck up. No, I don't know what he said. Something along those lines. Now, here are the children. Now, I'm just saying. Here's more good defense by Derek Lively. Now, Darren Fox will tell you that he probably should have just made that. But forcing him outside and altering the shot. Contesting. Making that a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. Great work. Okay, well, first and foremost, disgusting block by Malik Monk. Disgusting. But then look at the transition defense here by your two superstars. Kyrie, jumping passing lane. Luca, jumping passing lane. We're going the other way. Now that's a take foul, Raph. The shot blocking presence of Derek Lively. Luca switched on to Fox. Knows that he's got help. That's all right. Send him into the help. And then good hands by Lively. I think he tipped that drop off. He did. Great work by the rookie. Honestly, Derek Lively's third quarter. We'll get to some clips here, I'm pretty sure. His third quarter might have been the best quarter of his career so far. Just defensively, he was an absolute menace. I mentioned Luka only had two points in the second half. Kyrie Irving had 18 points in the second half, including 12 in the third quarter, where he just pretty much took this game over and iced it. I mean, put the game out of reach. Sabonis, your food to me. Step up. And then a dunk? This was Kyrie's fifth dunk of the season. That's more dunks than he's had in a season at any point in his career. Oh my Lord, that was nasty. Look at this guy courtside. Feel the same way, brother. Where'd those kids go? Did they move the kids? The kids appear to be gone from courtside. What is happening here? More great defense here. PJ Washington just moving his feet, using his length. Harrison Barnes, you got no real chance. And then here comes Gafford to help. Not a bad slow step there by Harrison Barnes. Harrison Barnes actually is pretty sneaky good at that move right there. That little slow step, but not over big gaff. How about this defensive sequence from the MVP of the association? Luka Doncic switches on to Sabonis. Look at him battling. Look at him fighting. Look at him preventing a post up. Look at that. And then PJ Washington individual defense. That's a terrible shot. And look at, look at Sweeney on the bench. Look at Sweeney on the bench. Yeah! Kyrie starts knocking down these threes when he's in killer mode. Little jab step right in your face. Boom. Just need a little tiny, little tiny bit of space. Timeout. Kyrie's high. That is what we love to see, man. That is what we love to see. How do we feel about the Vans on the coaches? I think I like it. Mike Brown wears some Vans. Kind of sick, actually. More P.J. Washington on Sabonis. Look at him going to work here. The bonus catches this way outside the paint. Don't let him get deep. Absorb every single forearm and elbow that Sabonis is going to throw your way. Shot clock violation. Good job by Luka, too, in the passing lanes. And then look at P.J. Washington after this. The little flex. The subtle flex. That's what exactly what I want. I want some dogs who take some pride in playing defense. That's exactly what P.J. Washington's doing. Look at him. Mean mugging and flexing. Luka hype, too. Is he talking shit to the children again? We've talked about P.J. Washington's struggles from the corner, but now he's knocked down three threes in this game. He's played some great defense. He's probably feeling really good about himself, as he should. Ball's moving here. Not a bad closeout by Sabonis and P.J. Washington knocking that thing down. If those start dropping, uh-oh. Masterful work here by Derek Lively. Masterful. Dropping on that screen and then contesting that without fouling. Not falling for that first fake by Fox. Staying on the ground, contesting that. And then going for the rebound. Great job. Lively, again, going to work. This time on Sabonis. Forcing a pass out. Getting it back. Battling. Pushing him out the paint. Not fouling. Not, bite, not biting on that pump fake. Contesting without fouling. Sabonis wants a foul. That's not a foul. That's defense. Now run the floor, Rook. Way to box out. Great rebound, PJ. Run the floor, Rook. Run the floor. Great bounce pass by Kyrie. Yes, sir. More great defense by the Mavericks. More great defense by Derek Lively. Good job by Kyrie right here, too. Great job getting over on that. And then Lively sliding down to help. Not fouling. Contesting. Arm straight up. That is not a foul, folks. 
more great defense from Derek Lively. I just want you to look at uh, Coach Sweeney's reaction here to these plays. Look how happy he is. Look how excited he is. <laughs> it's, like, it's like everything's coming together. We've been trying so hard all season to get all these things working. And now it feels like they are. That's a great job by Lively right there, man. Let's close this out with this hilarious clip. Tim Hardaway Jr., great game in this one. Hit a disgusting three right here. That I mean, the game is already over at this point, but just listen to the disgust in the crowd. Just listen. Mavs had to hop on a flight from Utah after they went last night. Hardaway! Swish! <laughs> Guys, I'm starting to feel things I shouldn't feel. And I'm thinking I need to call a doctor.